accountability and immediate action. That's what some local teachers are now demanding. Many of them shocked by the recent attack of a teacher by a student at El Dorado School. Reporter Jeremy Chen spoke with educators about how they're making their voices heard right now. Some teachers are calling this attack at El Dorado High School a horrible wake up call where they want to see immediate action come from CCSD officials. Enough is enough. Like now someone could have died. Clark County School District teacher Vicki Credell is frustrated and horrified by the Thursday attack against a teacher at El Dorado High School. A 16-year-old student arrested for attempted murder and sexual assault. Metro Police say the student beat her and choked her until she passed out. Authorities haven't given us an update on her condition. I think this is probably the worst that I've seen. Cradell says while the nature of the latest attack is shocking, it's another example of rising school violence over the past several weeks. Our students are not okay. There are some unsafe conditions at our sites and we can't get anyone who has any power to take us seriously. As a result, she's helping organize a protest where teachers, parents and community members can directly appeal to district leaders. So we're asking for someone to take action now so that this doesn't happen to someone else. Not Cradell says while the district has taken some measures, it's not enough. She would like to see Superintendent Jesus Jara take emergency measures to address school safety. Dr. Jara has made it clear that he's in charge of operations. So he needs to make sure that things are put in place to make us safer. That protest will be happening starting at 8.30 a.m. in the morning in front of CCSD headquarters. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jeremy Chen.